Welcome to another Azure Guy video where hands on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, and also an Azure solutions architect. Question seven readiness and liveliness probes. Create a new pod named Hello with the image SpeedRacer5 Dave slash Node.js dash Hello World that exposes the port 3000. Name the port Node.js dash port. Add a readiness probe that checks the URL path on the port with the name above after a two second delay. Add a liveliness probe that verifies the app is running every eight seconds by checking the URL path on the port reference with the Node.js dash port. The probe should start with a five second delay. Shell into the container and curl localhost 3000 note to message. Retrieve the logs from the container and note to message. All right, task one of question seven. We're going to create a new pod named hello with the image of SpeedRacer5 Dave, which is my Docker. Uh, folder and with the image of node.js and the expose the port on 3000. Sounds pretty good. All right, so we'll do a kubectl run image equals speed racer by Dave slash node.js dash hello world port equals 3000 and we want to take this to a yaml file so dry two dashes dry run equals clients dash o yaml and then redirect it to a file we'll call this q7 dot yaml oh forgot the name Whoops. That should do it. Let's go look at our file. Here it is. All right. It's looking pretty good, except for we want this to be a name. Now, I am pretty sure we could just go name. And no JS dash port. But let's pretend you didn't know where it went. And you're on the exam. Well, you can't Google, but you can use the kubectl explain command. We know it's kubectl explain, and we want pods, and we know it's under spec and that was under metadata let's just go with spec well, let me go back to here just for a second so I'm going to verify it's here so spec containers is where I'm going to go explain pods spec containers and ports there we go and then if I do this dot ports, I get name right under container ports. So that should do it. All right, that ends task number one. All right, let's get on with task two, and we're gonna add a readiness probe. And for this, we're gonna use our other good friend, the Kubernetes documentation. So config, we'll type config pod in here. And I don't like that one. I want where it gives you a list. Maybe it's this. There we go, that's what I want. And we're going to look in here uh, for ports, or I mean liveliness probes. Sign post, here we go, liveliness, readiness, and startup probes. 
And we're going to come on down here. And we want a redness probe. But a redness probe and a lavatus probe are about the same thing. Let's see if we can find a better example. Lavatus probe. Here's just, I think, just about what we want here almost. Because we want, let me move this over to here. And bring up our YAML file. And we want to come over to under, right, make a new thing under container. So, we'll type in readiness probe. And we'll do an HTTP get. Path here is just a root. And on the port, which we call Node.js dash port. And we want it, I believe, after initial delay. I-N-I-T-I-L-D-E-L-A seconds of two. I think that covers our task. Add a readiness probe, check with the path check and the port name and initial delay and we're good all right on to task number three okay on to task number three and this time we're going to add a liveliness probe so I'm going to come right here, type in L-I-V-E-N-E-S-S -S, probe, and here we want an HTTP get of path, the same thing as before, and this time port is the same. Then we want uh, let's see remember the app is running every eight seconds so that's not a initial delay that is called something else and let's say we can't think of that something else let's use our explain so we're gonna do Q we're gonna use Q C T L explain pods containers spec oh goes pods spec containers doesn't it and here we have liveliness probes so we'll go ahead and copy that Paste, initial delay, period seconds. How often to perform the probe? That's what we want, period seconds. So come here. And that should be eight. Then we also have our good friend initial delay in this one as well. And that should be five. Okay, I think that does it for task number three.
I'm going to go to a save for good measure. Okay, on to our final task of this question. And we're going to shell into the container and then curl on localhost 3000 and note any messages. Then we're also going to retrieve the logs from the container and note the message. Well, first we have to stutter a pod, don't we? And we haven't really tested this YAML file yet, so this should be interesting. So the kubectl38 slash f and the name of our file, cube7.yaml. Kaboom. Ooh, look at that. So far, so good. I was really expecting at least one syntax issue, but let's see if it's running. And it is. I'm very excited about that. So kubectl exec hello slash it slash bin bat says spin shell and we're in there now so we'll do a curl localhost 3000 and we get hello world so that's pretty good now we'll do a control p control q to get back out of our shell there and they want to retrieve the logs from the container and I have to tell you, at the top of my head, I don't know if I know this command. So kubectl logs, hello, uh, kubectl get logs, hello, try that, no, all right, let's do help. Uh, I don't think there's a get. I think it's kubectl logs. Let's do that help. Oh, just the pod name. So there we go. So we just want this right here. All right. This is why you practice, practice, practice. Because you don't want to be doing help on a simple command like this during the exam. kubectl logs. Hello. Magic happens on port 3000, so you'd write that down. So, pretty good question. We came through that pretty well, and that's more points for us. See you on the next question.